my fingers. So this is user mode for programming purposes. You have to remove the four screws in the back. And there's gonna be a switch behind here to switch it into programming or calibrating. You can see the switch there. Once you switch it, you should be in programming. So first we're gonna go into P1 to set the max weight. You're gonna use zero to go into P1. Our max weight for our scale is gonna be 5,000 pounds. If you want something different, you can use tear or print to bring down the value or up. Once you set your desired uh, capacity, you're gonna hit net gross to set. Once you see the set flash in front, you can use unit to go back to P1. Now you're gonna go to P2 using the print and zero to go into P2. And this is how much you want uh, your scale to read off. We wanna use, use a decimal of one. If you need something a little bit more accurate, you could use 0 0.5, 0 0.2, but we're gonna do 0 0.1 and we're gonna use net gross to set one. Unit to go back into our P2 then we're going to go up to p4 and we're going to use zero to go into p4 and we're, we're going to set that at 3.0 3 now we're going to go back into p4 and we're going to go all the way to p10 zero to go into p10 and this is whether we want to use uh, kilograms or pounds so we want to use pounds and you can see the light indicator on the right hand side. So we hit net gross and it's set. Unit to go back into P10. Now we're gonna go to P11. And this is a readout of all of our four load cells on each corner. So if you see here, if I step on each corner, this number should rise. If not, the load cell is upside down. Okay, so all those uh, numbers rise, so it, that means that the load tails are properly placed. And if we see the stable light here, this has to be lit on for three seconds before you hit net gross to set. So if it flashes, you have to do it again. One, two, three. You see how it flickered there? I'm gonna redo it. This will mess up your calibration and make it inaccurate. So I'm gonna go back into P11. One, two, three. See the light was always stable. So now we're gonna go back up to P12. And this is where we're gonna use the weight to calibrate your scale. So we're gonna use a 50 pound weight. So I'm gonna change this to 50. Using the zero, we're gonna move over to the desired section and we use print to put it at 50 pounds. So then we put the, the weight on there. And same thing as in P11, that stable light has to be on for three seconds. If not, your accuracy will fluctuate. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna see all zeros. Uh, now we have to do the same thing as with the stable light. We don't have to change any numbers here. Just keep them all at zero. One, two, three. And that's the end of your calibration. So you could turn it off. Go back into user mode. And your skills calibrated.